Hey guys, Ratty Dog here. How y'all doing? I got another solar street light in here. I'm going to show you. I think this one's pretty cool. It's got a separate solar panel. Let me show this thing to you. Okay, there's your all your ops manual install stuff right there. Pretty straightforward stuff. Here's your pole right here that you mount. You mount this, this goes on your wall or wherever you're going to put it, your pole. And you have a sandwich, so you can sandwich around a pole like that. And they give you all the hardware here, everything you need. It even comes with a remote control. These are so cool to be able to control these remotely. It has a motion sensor, so it uh, can track motion and come brighter to 100% whenever it reads motion. So that's pretty cool. Um, also has, here's the light right here. Let me pull it out of here. Yeah, that, man, that thing's, that thing's heavy. And this mounts on that pole like this. And the solar panel, I'm sure, is underneath here. Yeah, there's the solar panel. Let me pull that out. Yeah, golly, that's a big solar panel. Look at this solar panel. Hot dog. Ah, look at that. Now, that is a big solar panel. That's going to collect a lot of sunlight to operate this. And let's see if it'll work. There it is. Wow, look at that. You guys see how bright that is? I just pulled it out of the box. Look at that thing. Hot dog. This is, this is an induction. It's a 2400 watt. So it is bright. I mean, look at that. Oh, I can get a suntan with this. <laughs> look how bright that is. Gah. Yeah, that's making my eyes hurt. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get this mounted. And I'll show you where I'm going to install it, and then I'll come back, and we'll do a nighttime reveal to show you how bright it is, okay? I'll be back. Okay, guys, how we doing? Ready to go? Here, I wanted to show you. I have set this next solar panel up on my shed out here. There's the house up there, and uh, this is my cart I used to do all my repairs on my property. It looks like we're getting ready to get a big storm in here, but I wanted to show you this install. Very simple install. The pole just hooks up with four bolts there. You can see, I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me get up my ladder, I'll show you. The solar panel there mounts on the pole just like that. Very simple. You can see the mount there. Four screws that go into the into the rafter tail there. So I have a good connection. And there's our light. And there's the big solar panel. Big old solar panel. I can't wait to try this thing and see how see how good it works tonight. If I get a chance, if the weather don't move in on us. But uh, there it is. What I'm doing is I'm trying to illuminate this area out in here to keep the critters, the skunks, the... We have all kinds of critters that get around this shed and they get underneath it and make mess. And my dogs go nuts. So I'm trying to keep this illuminated at night. I've got two solar lights there and there's another one on the other side. But this should work and keep this side uh, illuminated over here. This is dust to dawn. It will come on 100% bright with motion and then it drops back to like 25%. Uh, it does have remote control. We'll come back tonight and uh, I gotta get my stuff put up before this storm moves in, but I'll be back and show you the reveal once we get, uh, if the weather's clear enough or whenever it's clear, I'll get a review. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, Ratty Dog. I'm uh, walking out here to show you this new solar light I got. It has the separate uh, solar panel on top of it, really cool. And I've got it down here in my shed. You might be able to see down there. It's lit up at about 25% now. And uh, that's what it does. When it comes on at dark, it'll come on at 25%. And then when it reads motion, it'll come up to 100%. So we'll walk down there and uh, hold on. We'll walk down here and see when we can get it to go off. I like this shed up down here because I have critters that like to get down underneath it. Skunks and so forth, skunks. And my dogs go nuts trying to dig them out from under there. Not fun if it's been raining. There it is, see how, see how it let up? Man, I was a long ways away. I'm a good, I'm a good 30, 40 feet away from this thing and it lit up. Look how bright that is, guys. Oh, there my other one lit up. <laughs> I've got several here to try and keep animals out from under the shed back here. But yeah, that is really bright. 
Very good. Let me let me walk out of here, and we'll see if we can get it to go. Back. It should go once it once it uh, quits sensing motion. It'll go off, but see how bright that is? Look at all this that lights up over here. Lights up this whole area around the shed. That's great. Okay, let's see what it'll go off. I'm gonna walk back out of here. I'm behind it, kind of behind a tree. You can see where it won't read my, read me. Okay, it went down there. It went down. Now I'm gonna walk back in, and you you see how bright this gets when I walk in here. Kaboom. Man, that thing really reaches out. Very good light. What is bright? This one's got that separate solar panel on it. And look how far it reaches out there. That's great. So you can see, you can see my shadow from that light. That's not from my phone. That's from the light behind me. That's from this light. And look how far out. About right, still going. Still has a shadow. That's pretty good. I like that. That's great. And then it dims out. You've got this remote control here. You've got this remote control right here. It's gonna, you can set it up for motion just like it is. And it'll read motion and then you can set it for 25, 50, 75, or 100%. You can set the hours, two, three, five, six, and eight hours. So it, you can set it for however long you want it to come on and stay on. Other, I set them dust to dawn. So this one will come on there. It dimmed out. Let's walk in one more time. There it is. Boom. And that one, the one on the side came on too. So, and I tell you what, if you guys want a good hack, this is, these things help keep critters out from under your sheds because that light coming on like that scares them and they'll run off and find another place, a dark place to hide. They won't come up under your sheds. Or I found it to be the case anyway with this shed for sure. I get skunks. You didn't believe all the crap that gets up under the shed. Or it used to. They don't do it anymore because I've got every side of it lit up. Anyway, it's a good light. And uh, it's got this nice remote to go with it. Dust to dawn. And it'll dim out with motion. And then come, come on 100% with motion. And then drop back out to 25% without motion. There it goes. It dimmed out. All right. Great product, guys. That's a great product. You guys have a good evening.